In this video I'm going to show you how to do the five stall encoding. So this is very simple, we have to follow four steps and by the end of this video you will know how to apply this type of encoding, so the five stall encoding. We have the plain text, so this is our initial text that we need to um, we need to encode. This is our function, so we're going to note it fs and the, the, the parentheses. And this is simply the algorithm or the steps that we need to apply. To what we need to apply this, I'm going to show you in a second. And then this one, the encoded text, will be our answer. So the plain text encoded. Okay. Now, in order to start, like I mentioned before, there are four steps that we need to take in consideration. And I've, I wrote them here. So we have in step one, you need to divide the plain text into two parts, left zero and right zero. So L zero and R zero. Let's go already and do this. Okay. So we have in step one, we need to divide this. Now we have 12 bits in total here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we need to split it into two, it means that each side, each part is going to have six bits. So six of this, these digits. Okay. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first one is going to be here. And then the second one is going to be this one. Okay. So the first one, which we said we're going to name L zero. Okay. This one is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so this is our first part. And then the other one is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, and this is our right. Okay, so left part and the right part. Left and right. Okay, this was our first step, so we've done that one. Now in the second step, let's go and have a look what it says. So in the second step, R0 is encoded using our algorithm that I was telling you before, and is stored into something called E. So this is going to be uh, some sort of a variable, okay? Now what is this? This is going to be typically given to you, the um, this algorithm. The steps are going to be either given to you already by your lecturer or you will find uh, the algorithm in the book, in the exercise book. Or simply you will have to come up with some sort of algorithm. You can make it up yourself. Okay. In this example, I'm going to show you what this algorithm is so I've come up with some sort of a implementation of this algorithm okay so this is again this is absolutely up to you okay or if it's given to you then you use exactly what is given to you okay so it says the first letter so say we have our plain text would be a b c this is the first letter this is the second one, this is the third one. Our algorithm, so this one, FS, says like this, the first letter goes into the second one, so this at this point, this is the plain text. Yeah? The first letter goes into the second place, so of course our output here, so the encoded text is still going to have three letters yeah but their ordering so their placement is going to be different and the placement is going to be uh, different according to this algorithm okay the first letter goes into the second place so it means that the first one goes into here the second letter goes into the third place so this one goes into here and the third one goes into the first place. So this goes here. Okay. And this means that our encoded text is going to be C, 
A, B, okay? So this is the CAB is essentially our result by applying the algorithm that was given to us or it was in the book or we were requested if we were required to come up with it ourselves, okay? Now, similarly, if we're going to have the plain text being something like 1, 0, 1, this would be again. So this was the first example. So if we have the plain text 1, 0, 1, then after we encode this text using our algorithm, okay, once we apply the algorithm to our text here, the output or the encoded text will be like we said before. So the first one, we're still going to have three bits coming out. The first one goes into the second place. The, la the middle one goes to the last one and the last one goes to the first one. It means we will have one, one, zero okay so these are the two examples that i wanted to show you of this algorithm the fs algorithm applied to some plain text and then getting the output okay then moving forward let's gonna do the same thing for our exercise so our step two says R0 is encoded using our algorithm and it's stored in E. So we're going to create a variable called E and this is going to hold fs of R0, okay, which is, and we're going to calculate it right now. So we have R0 is this one. So we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, okay? Now, since we have more than three letters like we see, like we saw in the previous example, in the example where I was showing you how to apply the uh, FS algorithm, it means we need to split this block as well. So this one, we need to split it into two parts. Okay, so we're going to have the first part, this one, and then the second part, this one. And like I said before, the first one, so we're still going to have three bits here and then two, three bits here. The first one goes into the middle. The middle one goes to the last one. And then the last one goes to the first one. And this means now we have zero, one, zero. Okay, that was for the first part of R0. So this is for the first part of R0. Then the second part, we do exactly the same. So the first one goes in the middle, the middle one goes to the last one, and the last one goes to the first one. And now we get 1, 0, 0. Okay, so far so good. Now we take this result and we bring it, we put it into E here. So we're going to have E equals to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. Okay. So we've done this step as well. Step four, well, step three actually, tells us that L1 equals to R0 and R1 equals to L0, and we calculate the XOR of L0 and E, okay? Let's have a look. Let's go and create step three, okay? So just the way we had here in step one, we had L0 and R0, we need to create again L1, R1 okay and it tells us like this L1 let's have another look L1 becomes 
R0. So we have to put R0, this one, R0, goes all the way here. Okay, so this is now 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then R1, so this one here, let's see what is R1. R1 is L0 XOR E. So this one here, L0 XOR E. L0 is this one here. So we have 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And we do XOR and this is like um, a 0 with a plus in the middle. This is the symbol for XOR, okay? And we XOR L0 with E. E, we have its value here. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, okay? Boom. Now, when we XOR, so to calculate the, the XOR, which is exclusive OR, it means that in order for the input to be a 1, we need to have one of the inputs different than the other one. So for example, here we start from the end, we have a zero and a zero, and the input is gonna the output is gonna be zero. In the next one we have a one and a zero, and the output is gonna be a one because these are different. Okay, so when they are different, when the inputs are different the output is going to be a 1. When the inputs are the same, the output is going to be a 0. Now moving to the next one, we have a 1 and a 1, and it, this is going to be a 0 because they are, they are the same. Now we have a 1 and a 0, and this is going to be a 1 because the inputs are different. Now we have a 1 and a 1, and the result, the output, is going to be a 0 because they are the same. And now we have the last one is a 0 and a 0, and the output again is going to be a 0 because the inputs are the same. So now this becomes our, so this becomes our R1, okay, this result here, okay, this whole thing. So we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, if we have a look at the fourth step and the last one, it tells us to concatenate L1 and R1 to obtain the result. Now, in step 4 and the last one, we simply have to put these two together. So we don't have to add them or anything like that. We simply have to put them together. So 1, 0. So now I'm looking at L1. We're going to uh, write this down. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we concatenate this with R1. Okay. So this is 0, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0. We should still have 12 digits, 12 bits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is our final result. So this thing is our final result. So this is going to become the encoded text here. Okay. So here our result is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And this is our final answer. So this. So the plain text, which is this one, yeah, after we encode it using the Feistel encoding, is going to become this one. Okay. I hope this video was helpful. Please watch it again.
because it's really really easy and lots of people are not understanding this five star encoding and please let me know if um, if you need yet another example of um, of this five star encoding okay but please please watch this video again because you will get it this is not difficult so you can do it definitely you can do it